My dear friends, Elon Musk has warned us a very long time ago. And finally, the White House is officially taking action by declaring artificial intelligence projects dangerous and worth special government attention now. The top tech companies such as Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI executives had confirmed that the U.S. government has officially started taking necessary steps to monitor the development of their artificial intelligence projects. As Elon Musk recently said, With respect to AI, um, I just think we should be, uh, we should have some sort of regulatory oversight. If Elon Musk's predictions are correct, then Joe Biden officially meeting with the top tech companies to safeguard AI development is logical and probably should have been done a long time ago, not today. If the public will have its hand on an unprotected AI machine, then this definitely can cause far more problems with cybersecurity and such. Obviously, we don't want the scene from the movies to happen in real life. With ChatGPT becoming more popular day by day, we can only wonder what will happen when people will have full access to more advanced AI systems, not just a text chat bot. As of now, people are using ChatGPT in far too many different use cases for both personal and business matters. We can already read from the news that giant educational companies are facing massive layoffs, stock market damage, all thanks to people using AI to complete their projects and educational tasks. Unless the government interferes here, tech companies are going to do whatever is good for their business, which is to be ahead of everyone else and keep working on the AI projects pushing the boundaries. Right now, we must acknowledge that the question of AI's potential dangers is yet to be fully determined. Nonetheless, we cannot overlook the responsibility of technology corporations to ensure the safety of their products. As we have witnessed through social media, when powerful technologies lack proper safeguards, they can cause significant harm. And even Joe Biden was saying something along these lines in his speech. Social media has already shown us the harm that powerful technologies can do without the right safeguards in place. It remains to be seen. It could be. I don't know if you have seen the news about Google's top AI expert leaving the company to warn us about what they were doing and what the consequences of the AI could be in the future. He literally tweeted, I left so that I could talk about the dangers of AI without considering how this impacts Google. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? He was very concerned about how bad actors could easily access and use the technology available right now to do bad things, and no one can stop them because AI is becoming smarter and faster than humans. He confirmed that the idea itself of AI becoming smarter than human beings was far longer away, but today the technology could already be ahead or close to get ahead very soon. If a Google employee had to resign from the company to say this, imagine what else we don't know yet. Google has said that they are committed to a responsible approach to AI. But how about the open letter where most AI industry experts and labs signed in order to pause AI training and development? As you may know, Elon Musk was one of the first to sign it, along with the famous Al Godfather Yashua Bengio. In fact, Mr. Bengio made a surprising statement that says, I recently signed an open letter asking to slow down the development of giant AI systems more powerful than GPT-4, those that currently pass the Turing test and can thus trick a human being into believing it is conversing with a peer rather than a machine. There is no guarantee that someone in the foreseeable future won't develop dangerous autonomous AI systems with behaviors that deviate from human goals and values. The short and medium term risks manipulation of public opinion for political purposes, especially through disinformation, are easy to predict. Unlike the longer term risks, AI systems that are harmful despite the programmer's objectives. And I think it is important to study both. At the same time, we can see how most businesses are so bullish on AI. For instance, IBM has decided to pause hiring any more back office employees and even replace close to 10,000 current jobs with AI products. Moreover, the Thomson Reuters Corporation, which is Reuters news agency's parent company, 
already has confirmed to focus on getting deeper and deeper into AI with its $100 million investments. Success story of ChatGPT has inspired many other billionaire CEOs, such as the LinkedIn co-founder and Google DeepMind co-founder, to start their own chatbot, called Pi. Their commendable startup has innovated their technology through in-house development, resulting in the Pi chatbot, which prioritizes engaging in human-like conversations with a remarkable level of emotional intelligence, while exhibiting kindness and support. The chatbot presents an equitable and impartial stance on sensitive topics or political matters, while also demonstrating a humorous and imaginative side on certain occasions. Its ultimate objective is to ensure that the AI system maintains an awareness of its identity as an artificial intelligence and never attempts to stimulate or mimic human behavior. Therefore, the AI makes a point of frequently reminding its human user of its artificial nature. But if there is a technology or an AI program out there right now that is being told to act as a human, speak like a human, and think like a human, as many experts and media claim today, there is a Pandora's box that has been opened, and it is labeled artificial intelligence. This incredible technology is demonstrated by innovative creations such as ChatGPT, Bard, and AlphaFold, represents a remarkable achievement for humankind. We have now accomplished the ability to create something that resembles general intelligence, surpassing the intellectual capacity that we have inherited through natural evolution. This is a truly godlike feat, and it is both awe-inspiring and humbling to consider the potential implications of such advancements. According to a study conducted by economists, the use of artificial intelligence has the potential to greatly benefit the economy by increasing the productivity of workers. With the aid of AI, workers were able to complete tasks more efficiently and effectively, resulting in higher levels of customer satisfaction. However, this study also highlights the immense power of AI, as well as the potential for disruption and economic equality that may arise as a result of its implementation. As we continue to develop new technologies, such as artificial intelligence, we must consider their impact on our economy and society as a whole. While recent research suggests that AI has the potential to greatly benefit our economy by increasing productivity and enhancing customer satisfaction, it is crucial that we remain mindful of the potential for unintended consequences. AI is an astonishing technology with immense power, and we must be vigilant in ensuring that it is utilized in a way that promotes economic growth and reduces inequality rather than exacerbating it. Expanding on the topic, it's important to acknowledge that AI has the potential to bring about both positive and negative effects on our society. While it can greatly improve our efficiency and productivity, it can also lead to job displacement and economic inequality. As such, it is essential that we develop policies and regulations that promote the responsible use of AI, while also ensuring that the benefits are widely shared. Additionally, we must invest in education and training programs that equip workers with the skills necessary to adapt to a changing job market. By doing so, we can harness the full potential of AI to create a more prosperous and equitable future for all. It is also important to address the potential for AI to exacerbate existing inequalities in the workplace. If only a certain segment of workers benefit from AI, it could lead to further economic disparities and exacerbate income inequality. Therefore, it is important to consider how we can ensure that AI is used in a way that promotes equal opportunities for all employees. This may involve investing in training and education programs that help workers develop the skills necessary to adapt to a changing job market or implementing policies that ensure equitable distribution of the benefits of AI. Ultimately, it is up to us to ensure that we harness the full potential of AI in a way that promotes a fair and just society for all. The development of AI has progressed to a point where we are now witnessing the emergence of artificial general intelligence. AGI has the ability to be trained to perform a variety of tasks within a given domain. For instance, ChatGPT, a language model, is capable of providing textual responses to a wide range of questions. The potential applications of AGI are vast and expanding rapidly. The technology has the potential to revolutionize many industries, from healthcare and finance to education and entertainment. 
However, the rapid development of AGI also raises ethical concerns, particularly in regards to the rise of autonomous weapon systems. The deployment of machines that can select and engage targets without human intervention is alarming and has the potential to result in unintended harm or catastrophic consequences. And the craziest part is that you wouldn't even know all of this information without watching this video. So make sure to share this video with everyone you know and inform them about what's happening around the world of AI and technology.